Welcome to Navy Paints. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make some magazines that you can add to your terrain. They're really easy to make with little to no effort, and after a few hours, you can make quite a few of them. Adding little details like this to your table will really bring it to life. With that, let's crack in. The first thing to do was go onto the internet and find some magazine covers that I wanted to use. I've gone with some white dwarf covers here. I printed out a test sheet, and using a model just made sure I was happy with the size and scale. And for a little variety, I printed the magazines in three different sizes. With all my covers here, the right hand side picture will be the front cover, and the left will be the back. Then once I've selected the cover I want, I just use some scissors to carefully cut this out. For the pages inside the magazine, I've gone with two options. Blank sheets of paper, which I can mark with a pen later, and some paper with some resized text to fit the magazine. And to get my sizes for the paper, I just use the front cover of the magazine, lay it on a sheet of paper, and with my pen, just mark around it. Then using my hobby knife and scissors, I just carefully cut these out. With all the pages cut out, I pile them together and then square them up with the front cover. Then following the spine of the magazine, I carefully fold it over. With that folded over, any excess paper, I just trim away with my scissors. To glue this together, I use a dropper super glue at the top and the bottom of the spine. This is enough to hold the magazine together, but also allow a little bit of flexibility opening the magazine to vary up the look. Before painting on the blank pages of the magazines, I've just used my pen to scribble out some text and also scribble out a few little basic symbols. The final step is to weather out the magazine and hit them with some colour. So before painting, I give the front covers a coat of PVA glue. Doing this will help prevent the ink from bleeding when I apply the paint. Now it's time to age the magazines up by adding some colour and giving them some wear and tear. So this colour here is Reichland Flesh Shade from Citadel. I've thinned the paint a touch just by adding some water and applied this to the entire magazine. And to add some physical damage to the magazines, I use my hobby knife to scratch little holes into them and my fingers just to tear away at the pages. Then apply some paint to these damaged areas. A few of the magazines, I glued them together in piles. So when placing them onto the terrain, I don't have to muck around placing one at a time. And with that, the magazines are done. Thanks for watching Nafi Paints. If you liked the video, please click the sub button or leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya!